Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 12th lecture of the second series of lectures related to the implementation of the RM software for filter design. Here we will describe how selective high pass active RC and SC and digital uh, infinite impulse response filters are synthesized by the RM, RM software. The content is as usual, naming the project, introducing the design requirements, synthesizing the transfer function, and then after analysis or together with the analysis, active RC and SC realization and digital infinite impulse response realization. We are starting again activating the main program and allowing the blocked content and look to the recommended design sequence. Now we will go to entering the project name, then entering the design requirements for high pass filter, then we will perform a low pass prototype synthesis, so one among these here. It will be in fact uh, a critical monotonic Halpern filter. Then we will add transmission zeros so that we will raise the selectivity, improve the pass bond, and then we will go to transformation so that we will get a high pass function that will allow to go directly to the synthesis. So let's go now, inputting the project name, which will be band stop halter. So it, one letter is not acceptable. This is the minus here, so we'll, we will enter band stop halter. Stop. Okay. Done. Now we go to high pass filter design. This is the explanation of the quantities asked for. We will go with 100 kilohertz for the cutoff frequency and the lower frequency of the transmission band that be 80 kilohertz, uh, uh, slightly more selective filter than usual. In these examples, the passband attenuation 3 dB, the stop band 40 dB, uh, the asymptotic slow, slow full freedom, group delay in unimportant, and the resistance normalization 1 kilo ohm. So we may now synthesize a transfer function of a polynomial lupus filter, and it will be Halper number 3, and the program insists to a order of 13, instead we will go with 8, and that's done. Now we will create the polynomial Halper filter of the 8th order, that will allow us to go to amplitude correction and add 
some transmission zeros to each characteristic function, for example, two characteristic zeros for order. That's done. We may produce now a rational function with two transmission zeros of of eight order. And now we will proceed to the synthesis. Sorry, to the transformation. And it will be as asked low pass to high pass is number three. We now may perform the transformation, which is a simple one. So we, we will we see the zeros which are introduced at the origin. These are transformed transmission zeros of the original filter. And what is characteristic, the uh, numerator and the denominator are here of the same order. That done, we may now proceed with the Synthesis. We have the transfer function of the high pass filter. We go with the active RC. Done. Let's see what went on. The spice file. Here is the filter, the transfer function or the amplitude characteristic of the helper filter. And now we will see here that the 3 dB is exactly at 297, you can see here, at 100 kilohertz. And now we will see that 40 dB So not exactly is at 89. While we asked for 80, this means we ask something here. This means a quite a good solution which horizontally has a margin of 10 kilohertz, which is a nice solution to be accepted. Here is the, the schematic. One, two, second order cells uh, realizing the transmission zeros, and then the rest are high pass, high pass, two high pass second order cells to realize the zeros at the origin. Now we will go for the parallel realization and again for the spice file. Of course, it is the same, and this is the schematic. Now we have one, two, three, four second order cells, that is the eight order filter, summing and, the, and the, the structure of the sewing. As you can see here, since it is a high pass filter, uh, an additional auxiliary path from the input to the output is given with the gain of one. This signal coming from the uh, source is uh, delivered to the summing and summed with the weight of one to complete the, the filter function. Now we are going to SC parallel, 100, oh, sorry, 10 megahertz, one picofarad and SC parallel. Here is the 
Python file, which we will not run, but simply to see part of the response. We will look to the signal twice the frequency so deep in the password, twice the, the cutoff frequency, and that will be after the first first anti-aliasing. Okay. Now this is the schematic. One, two, three, four. And uh, here again, which is not explicitly seen, it is it is part of the of the sumic cir circuit. There is a path coming directly from the input from the input to the so called cell zero. Short circuit activated only if n is equal to m and so on and so on. Now we will go to the digital. Because one should be reminded that the whole theory of this is described in the tutorials, which are, are part of the documentation of the, of the RM software. So every single detail is explained to the, that extent that the reader may develop his own uh, software for filter design. Here we see the digital response. Let's enlarge it a little bit. So this is the, the Halpern high pass eight order with two Transmission zeros at finite frequency and, and several at the origin. Here is its phase characteristic. Here is its amplitude characteristic. And finally, here is the group delay. Uh, let's see in the report file. Here are the coefficients, and again, the structure of the filter, the physical realization, is in details described in the tutorial, while here only the coefficients are given for every cell in the in the Parallel connection, parallel filter uh, with B it with 16 or 32 bits. So that will conclude the uh, uh, explanation of how high pass active RC SC filter are designed or high pass infinite impulse response filters are designed by the Adam Software, thank you, thank you very much for your attention.